Hello, my lovelies. I was playing with my mega junk journal late last night. I got this far. I'm just pulling out pages and doing them before I sew them all in. This is part of a magazine that gets sent to me regularly by the National Diabetes Services Scheme, NDSS. And I pulled the middle out and I thought, well, that would be great in my mega junk journal. So I had some lovely adhesive fabric that was sent to me many years ago, and I thought it's time to use it. So I covered the the magazine with the roses and also some stripes, and I had this lovely frame that was sitting in a box of bits and pieces that I had stashed somewhere. This lovely tag came from Freer, and I thought that would be really nice to just go inside the frame. But then I thought it needs something else. So some handmade washi tape in here. And then I thought it still needs something else. So I went fossicking and I found some little roses that I'd already 3D'd. I've got two of those, so they can, one can pop up there, I think, and the other one down here. I found also this little tag that I had in my stash that I'd made several months ago. Also, this one that I found, and I thought it could go here. And the Eiffel Tower, that looks like it came out of a door uh, from a, a napkin, and I've put it onto some white card. So I thought that could possibly come up here, which means I need to move those roses so they can sit there. Yeah, that just about finishes it. Okay, so let's get to and stick all this down. It's been a little while since I did something in junk journal, um, in the mega junk journal, so I thought I'd show you. And I was getting a little bit tired and I couldn't keep my eyes open any longer, so I thought, right, this is a great time to stop and pick it up tomorrow when I can show my lovelies what I'm up to. I remember making these little things here um, after I'd seen Kay from Papercraft with Kay. She had given me lots of little bits and pieces to play with. So I made them all up and then I didn't use them. I put them away and like a good little girl made them all tidy. And then I found them and I thought, oh, I've got to use those, but I've got the perfect vehicle. Mega junk journal. Not only is it big in size, in paper size, but it's also going to be quite a hefty tome by the time I'm finished. Because I keep finding things that I can put into it, which is pretty awesome. Oh, I don't know how good this is going to be, this tape, because it's been there for a long time. No good at all. Okay, let's put a new piece on there. Put it in the opposite direction. Those are lovely little roses. Roses and lavender, beautiful. Okay, we'll stick this one down too. Now we know that that other piece of tape wasn't going to be viable. This one won't be either, but I'll take the backing off. That way I'm not running any chances of it falling off. Now, because that magazine is glossy print, I don't think I'm going to be able to color the edges of it. So it's going to have to stay white, regrettably. But thankfully, there's enough white any elements on here that enables me to keep that plain 
sort of all ties in together, which is great. Okay, so that is that page done and I can put that into the journal. Let's see if I can do something else with this. Just while I have the, the page out. I have got lots and lots of things. I was going through a box yesterday with a friend and I found lots of things. And I do mean lots of things. But whether they will be good for this or not, I don't know. This is some of what I found. This big frame. I could use that. Do I have any papers in here? That's the next question. No, that's a calendar. What's on this calendar? Oh, sorry. I think I just whacked it. Okay, it looks like it's an inspirational calendar. For what year? What year? What year? Did it tell me on there? Oh, 2006! Oh dear. It's getting a little bit ancient, isn't it? with it is going the wrong way but I think I can change that let's take out February let's get to using some of this stuff stickers that'll be nice okay there are three D things I've got to do cards there's some paper there cool we can use some of that to fill in the background with all right let's see what we can do here let's start with the background I'll work on this page because it's all one one level underneath whereas this is now a little bumpy all right let's see what pretties we have here paper pack early spring I reckon that was probably around the um, 2006 mark too this yellow, oh, hang on, that might come in better with the, the other colour. These are double-sided. Let's cut the, the frame out. Almost time I got a new blade because I'm just about out of blades here. Mind you, it's done a mighty service, the little knife. I've had it for more years than I choose to remember. That was a little bit crooked. Okay. Now that's a nice piece of paper I can use in the inside of a, a card. Put a little greeting on that or a stamp. Yeah. And I've got lots of cards to finish off too, I've got to tell you, because I found more. I keep finding these UFOs and I really do have to do something about it because it is just becoming unmanageable. 
Now cover that little piece up there. Cover that piece there like that, I think. If I cut that along there, I may have enough to cover that bit. Okay. Out the board again. And I'm not going to be silly enough and try and do that without ruling, or without measuring, sorry. Take it. Okay, it's one sixteenth below the one and a half. Oh, I've lost my dot. Oh, there it is. I was going to say I lost my dot, but I didn't. Now I'll move that over to the edge of the text. Oh, look at that, that's just wonderful. Okay, and then I can put this piece here. Bring it down a little, just a little. Ah, this is going to work beautifully. Now that frame I can put here with the verse, no, with the flowers. Let's see how that looks with the flowers. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Bring this back again. At the mat, it is six and a quarter. So six and a quarter there. Pretty useless trying to cut off the edge of the mat, wouldn't it? And the verse, I can save and use that somewhere else. Right, we have our elements so far, the major elements. So there's the frame and that, and I don't mind at all if a little bit of that white shows. Because let's face it, it is a junk journal. It does not need to be perfect. Nice, but not perfect. I'm just going to take off this torn edge. Oh, that's a good marking point there, beauty. Wonderful. Now let's get this stuck down before we go any further. I think I will do this first. Get the frame in place. Um, tape. That way I know this is ready to go on once I have the papers ready. Oops, be careful Ruth, be careful. Yeah, I know, I went over the edge and I'm going to correct that right now. I wasn't going to, but then I realized it would annoy the life out of me. So I thought, okay, we will just correct it while we're here and not let it enough look, there it is. How easy it is to lose the ends of your tape when it goes back onto the roll.
I'm trying to remember to work from here up. I apologise for the state of my desk. If you can see stuff everywhere, I have not put things away. I've been very naughty the last 24 hours. I've been crafting and not tidying up after myself. Nothing unusual in that, but when you add more to your table and it's already untied, it makes it even more junky. Which is appropriate seeing as I'm working on a junk journal. I had a little brainwave the other day. I had emptied my sugar bag. Here in Australia, we get our one and two kilo bags of sugar in paper bags. And I thought, don't screw it up. Don't put it in the bin. It will make an awesome addition to a junk journal. So that's coming into mega junk as well. Oh, come on, be good. So it's another little addition to that, which will be nice. Oh, it's grabbed. It's grabbed the wrong way. Let go, let go. Oh, please let go. Please. It's not going to. Oh, dash. Darn it, pickle it. All right, I'll cut here and see if I can make it sit flatter. It's not too noticeable, but it's noticeable to me. Ah! It does make me cranky when I do dumb things like that. I should have done that here as well. Oh, how frustrating. I will have to try and put something on top of that to stop it from showing out too badly. That was going to be such a lovely frame. Ah, oh, lesson learned. Just watch what you're doing from now on, Ruth girl. Okay, let's get these pieces on. This colour is going to work so well with that pretty frame. And I've got several that colour. So they might have to go into a giveaway box. Because there's no way I'm, I'm going to need half a dozen in the same colour. I don't do big cards like that. So that's a bit of a waste keeping them if I'm not going to use them all. I don't know why I, I've just got into a routine of doing opposing sides with tape. I think it's I've got two long ones and two shorter ones. I don't know. But I just sort of have gotten into this routine over the years of doing one side, then flipping it around, doing the other, and then doing the third and fourth in the same direction. Crazy lady. Now, I don't have a lot of embellishments or ephemera on my table. I've got the start of a lot of bigger projects, so I don't know if I'm... Oh, I've got stickers out. That's right. I was going to put stickers on this, wasn't I? because I had those in that yellow folder. A 
go over there. Get out of my face. Oops, that's not going to cover the text very well. Now it will. Good, good, good. I haven't yet learned how to make things go faster in my editing. That I think will be my next one. So that when I'm doing things like, you know, gluing bits of paper down and putting tape on it, I can make it go a little bit faster. Just have to remember not to talk during those times so that, you know, because that, that, that annoys me. <laughs> I've seen so many people doing it. And they forget to um, stop talking when they know they're going to speed things up. And all you get is that gibberish in the background and it's high pitched and it sounds funny. It doesn't really annoy me. It gives me a giggle. Nearly there with the pretty backing paper. Oh, that's not straight either. Look at that. Wonky, but this is going to cover it up. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. Here I go again. I think I want to leave that one partially open so that I can pop a couple of things in the side of it to fill up the, the space. Tickets or um, shapes or something. But I will put two in the middle. Not so much in the middle. Oh, come on. Oh, if I tape it there, that gives me that much to play with. So that's what I'm going to do. I love the fact that I can use these big pictures in this journal because I've got some lovely pictures that I you know want to use or want to have wanted to use but they're too big for my small ones but this is just the perfect size to to play with like that lovely now let's get these stickers over here have an oriental theme on the stickers and it doesn't really matter because it's still going to look lovely even though the flowers are not oriental but who knows they might have some all right there's this lovely fan actually i rather like that dragon let's get the dragon and pop him up on one of those faux pas so that he camouflages that for me. And I can put the this medallion type one. I can put that over here. And I might lower that a little bit. So that one, it's camouflaging that little piece up there. And two, it's taking up that little bit of white corner that I said I didn't mind. Because these are embossed, not just with the, the prettiness 
but you can see behind here it's all been embossed it's rather gorgeous all right little horse i think you're a horse or a, it's not, it looks like a dragon head but the rest of it looks like a horse put you down here i think lovely I know these are not roses, but I do like those roses. They are very nice. And I think just one more, and I'm going to use this lovely vase or gourd. And I'll put that down here. So that's that page done. I think I might need to put some text in there of some sort to finish it off. Not a happy birthday, Ruth grabbing for my stickers and there was one that said happy birthday. Okay. Love without end hath no end. That sounds pretty good. Put that there. I think I might leave it at that. Yep. Okay, my lovelies, that's your lot for the day. Or well, for this particular video, not for the day, because I've got lots of things to do. But I am very happy with that page, and I love that one, and I really, really love this one. It's so busy, and it's beautiful, and it's pretty. And I thank you very, very much for coming to watch. I will catch up with you in another video. Until then, craft a lot, smile a lot, and have whatever bevy you like to have. Bye-bye for now. Take care.